So welcome back to Churro and Friends. <laughs> oh, did uh, we really? Why not? Oh, wow. That works. Yeah. I mean, oh. Matt's going to be watching this. Hard and fast. Hard and fast. You, you, guys, hard and fast you don't know that there. because the magic of editing has made us invisible to the naked yes. eye. So now so we're going to play some Aquas. So get naked and then you can <laughs> eyeball me. I don't know. <laughs> All right, Harley. I don't, so, I'm, uh, I'm running out of steam. Yeah. Running out of steam. <laughs> so I guess continuing uh, of the conversation of last time with the consoles and everything and like seeing a, a person who played mostly consoles when they were a kid compared to someone who played mostly PC when they were a kid, it's kind of kind like, of mix of both. Yeah, yeah, it makes us a both are actually pretty cool. Like, like a uh, I think Carl Blatt had had that same thing, and you remind me of him a lot. But oh no, I mentioned yeah, right? someone's name. Like oh, he reminds shit. me of Carl, right? Like, he reminds me of Carl. Yeah, no, uh, all people know. are gonna go on Carl Carl's like Facebook and like fucking. So I guess like bleep his last name. Um, Carl beep. <laughs> Carl Blatt. Uh, so like uh, like seeing someone who only did like PC games, they're really really like different. Yeah. Um, yeah. But side by side, these were growing. Like you had PC and then you had Super Nintendo, and then um, PC and you had game uh, PC and you had a uh, Nintendo 64. It was the fifth generation. Yeah. I think. And okay. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. It's thinking. the fifth. I was way off at three. I guess I was grouping all the Nintendos together. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was like the fifth generation. I'd say is my favorite and. Uh, the Xbox 360 is good for online play and stuff like that, but the games are really lacking in uh, creativity. And now that's... PC Master Race. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm, I bought a gaming PC instead of a new console, and I'm buying a new console for Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. But uh, get an Xbox. I have a is PS4. it coming out for Xbox One or is no? It I'm getting, getting PS4. PS4. The games are on PS. I have to get Final Fantasy. I have to get Kingdom Hearts, and I think it might be multi console. But if I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna stay with uh, Sony. Okay. Because it's just my brand. I feel like I need my eyesight to be perfect. Everyone has my, my brand. brand. <laughs> um. Also, that's that's another thing about um about video games. I guess uh. I don't know what to, what to call the topic, but um, is this an underwater level? Yep. This is the only underwater level in the game. Imagine fucking like having to program this. You have to make everything wavy. That's fucking ridiculous. All right. Um. Also, things that get fuzzy, like the further you way you are away from them. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a little wavy. Um. When th there's a thing too, like they're making a. It's a fucking anglerfish fan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? Do you know that uh, all the anglerfish are female? And really? that the males are like tiny little things? Yeah. And then they like, when they mate, the male like bites into the female and then fuses with it and dies. So the female has like gonads. That's that interesting. Fertilize it. Wow. That's really weird. Yeah. Nature gets fucked up sometimes. Like, it's just like, yeah. eh, I guess this will work. Just fucking eat them. <laughs> yeah, like, uh. Na Praying all mantises. Praying mantises, yeah. More. It's such, like, an argument with Christianity, like, against gay marriage. Just like, ah, uh, it's not natural. God didn't intend for it. I'm like, have you seen some of the things things that nature creates? Just the ocean in general. We yeah. have male females, like, fucking female fish that eat other male fish and become the male. Like, it's yeah. just. We have octopuses, and then we have jellyfish, which are 90% like, water, so technically they're immortal. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> like, they're like banana slugs and shit. I mean, like, if God didn't want people to be gay, he probably should have sorted out the animals first. Yeah, you have see you seen new... banana slugs? Now that's pretty fucking gay, dude. <laughs> you see that new alien-like creature that's, like, really goopy and disgusting? And he's, like, underwater, and he kind of looks like, like, like Squidward, but all sad. Fish. Yeah. Oh, the blobfish? Yeah, the, the blobfish. blobfish. Yeah. yeah. That thing cute. is disgusting. I think he looks cute. He's like, <laughs> he's like, like a sad, uh, like middle class office worker in the city, and he's like, yeah, I've totally seen that guy. Go home <laughs> I've today. seen him somewhere. So I'm walking down the street oh. in the city one time. I guess I'll have a large McDouble. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's all you have. Mm. You guys ready chicken sandwiches? Oh, Charlie, you know, oh, you know, what I just realized. What? You um. You like Star Fox, so uh, I didn't just realize that, but uh, <laughs> yeah, man, I love Star Fox. You like Star Fox in Kingdom Hearts 2, They have something called gummy ships. It's pretty much Star Fox for the PS2, and it's literally like a huge mini game within the game. That's as like 
it took me like days to, to finish the entire mini game. Really? Yeah, like it's a whole like every single level you go to and play in the normal game, mm -hmm. you do a gummy ship to get there. You basically fly a spaceship to get to the the planet. Mm -hmm. When you're flying, you have to shoot all the spaceships, and there's a giant boss, and like there's a bunch of crazy creatures. It's, oh wow! It's a yeah. It's like a, you can do the barrel roll, you can fire rockets, and you can make your own ship. That's pretty. Cool. And like make your own weapons for the ship. There's one ship I had that was nothing but like health. And this one weapon that drain, like whenever an enemy would shoot at you, it would drain the bullets and then fire them back out. So I just held X the entire time while running. <laughs> it sometimes you would die because it doesn't do it for missiles, but it was neat. You know? Still pretty cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you before I leave. Like I'm telling you, like I think you get into it. What the fuck are you fighting? Like, giant, giant clam. Yeah. Really? That's what that is. It yes. looks like the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, that is a clam. Shut up, Slippy. Shut your face. So, oh, poor clam. Poor clam. So, one of the things is, uh, video games. Uh, I think there's, like, a f one, there's many different ways you can do it, but I feel like, I feel like you can either go, like, the art route, yeah, and try to make the video game, like, you know, a really kind of an expression of, like, what you want to have, and, like, what mm -hmm. game you would like, and everything, and... You know, that's like kind of like what indie games are, like with yeah. Fez or with the Ed, anything Ed McMillan's done. Oh my god, Binding of Isaac. Yeah, the Afterbirth Rebirth is coming Rebirth out soon. And Afterbirth is coming out, yeah. Ed, have you ever seen the indie game, the movie? Yes. It's, uh, that was such a fucking inspiring thing, you know, just like to watch, especially the Fez guy, because like he was going through all that court bullshit while... Yeah, Phil Fish is, uh... Yeah. I mean, he's kind of... Kind of a dick. Kind of a dick now, but... Eh, hey, you know. But like, he went through a lot to make that game come through and... It's what you get with like creative people is like sometimes they're just a little pretentious. <laughs> but uh, Ed McMillan like me, is. Uh, you know, I mean, I haven't me met the heart. guy, so I don't know. But <laughs> pompous and pretentious. Yeah, and just complete like Charlie, shit. that that complete asshole Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know it, bro. But uh, so you can go that route, and that's that's always the route I think is more admirable, harder to do, harder to sell, mm. but it's more for. Um, There's something about games that focus on mechanics, though. That is like really satisfying to play, right? Like um, the competitive games. Yeah. That focus strictly on how well can you play this game. Mm -hmm. You know, um, the League of Legends, Rocket League, uh, World of Warcraft PvP. Yeah. Um, again, Starcraft and. Uh, World of Warcraft PvP. I, I don't want to say Call of Duty, but I will say Call of Duty. You know, that's. I would the, say Counter Strike before Call of Duty, but yeah. Definitely Counter. The it's first person much, shooters. Yeah. Even Doom and like um. What was, yeah. What was that other game that you used to be able to play with other people online? And, uh, what was it called? Unreal it, Tournament, maybe. Uh, yeah, I think it was Unreal Tournament. That was it. Unreal Tournament, like those games. Um, the things that the metalheads used to play. Yeah. yeah. Th something about those games, like. If you're a competitive person like me, my, like Adam hates them. Adam <laughs> thinks they're the worst thing ever. He wants all art. Like he believe, he thinks they all belong in the toilet. <laughs> like competitive games, yeah. or just like shooters. Just like uh, like competitive shooter games that really are just focused on mechanics and nothing else. Like he thinks like they're all the same. They're all bullshit and stuff like that. And like you know what he's he's got a serious point to a very high degree actually because yeah I mean a lot of them are yeah. the same yeah a lot of them are they used to not be because you had to experiment to find what's the right first person shooter you know Goldeneye came out and then yeah. you're like well all right Fred Faction copied Goldeneye a little and you know um, but eventually you just copy and copy and copy until you get a perfect one and then you just add a little twist. Get down tonight. The new Call of Duty is the same shit, but they added a lot of different movement mechanics, which kind of makes it learning a different game, but if you look at it, you're just like, it's the same shit, you run around and shoot people. Yeah. It's from that point of view. There's no story, there's no there's no mental stimulation, it's just, uh, how well can you perform? Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, but there's something about that, about being able to perform better than someone else that makes you really feel like you just cock-punched them right in the face. Like, it's just, <laughs> it's just, yeah, it just it's feels a, so good when that 12-year-old cries over the fact that I noob-tubed him. It's just, yeah. it just feels so good when Fiora dies to my Nasus. It's just, yeah. oh, I just, just gotta stick the tip right in there. But, <laughs> but, um... <laughs> I really do think that uh, the higher grade of video games are like the indie games and the uh, the games that do take the creative route. I forgot this was a character. Cat. Yeah. Cat. She yeah. She cat. shows up randomly. She's a cat. She's a cat. <laughs> There's 
Like I, re I really want to see though more uh, creative games that are like that. You know? Yeah, I mean, there's like a there's like a fine balance between the two. Like, um, there are a lot of single player games I like. You have to be good at them. Like, um, a good example would be, uh, fuck, what is that game called? Uh, Ori in the Blind Forest. Like, that game's really hard. I've never played it. What, what is that actually? I it's like, um, it's a Metroidvania style platformer. Okay. Ish. Yeah. That, that was another thing. <laughs> Fucking, I love Symphony of the Night. That was my, I think that was my favorite Castlevania game. I know people say it's like Metroid, but like, yeah. I, it's Gothic Metroid, and I like Gothic Metroid better than Sci-Fi Metroid, so... Yeah. Yay. Um... But, uh... Like... I, I haven't seen many games come out that aren't part of a formula. Mm -hmm. Um... And I, I really... I really would like to see... Some, like, creativity and some different shit going on. And I see it a lot on Steam. Wow, Charlie, that's the first damage you've taken all game. <laughs> Did you almost, like, miss it, though? Yeah, that was really close. So, like, I, I, I've seen, like, a lot on Steam, but, like, they all kind of are just MD and, like, you know, people have tried to do something. Yeah, that early access kind of... Yeah, it, it's, mm. it's like in the in the crowd of shit of all the pop music coming out now, I'm trying to find a good alternative artist, but I'm stuck to listening to all the hipsters singing at my local cafe. Yeah. Like, that's, that's what it feels like for the gaming community right now. It's the same as the music community. It's... Yeah. It's, it's hard to find good shit. Um... I mean, it depends part of what music community you listen to. Right, right, but, uh, I guess. People who are really into the competitive stuff are probably being their pants right now about yeah. like, all the Call of Duties. Me, I, I really enjoyed Rocket League. I, yeah, right? Rocket League is mad fun. I said that when I first saw someone play Rocket League, I'm like, this game's going to get fucking huge. I got to play it. And even if it didn't get huge, I was like, fuck it, I got to play it. So I bought it immediately and played it. And look at it. It's, it's huge. I now. wish it got huger. It's, yeah. it's like the number one game on Steam right now. It's huge! It is? Yeah, there's a huge community of people who play it. Is it beating uh, Mostly Metal Gear the Solid 5 right now? What? Is it beating Metal Gear Solid? N no, no, no. I mean, oh. like, when it came out, it was the number one on, like, Steam. Ah. And, I, and Steam only. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, like, Metal Gear Solid 5, I think, is on everything, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But, uh, it, it was the people who played, like, League of Legends and, like, Call of Duty and, like, Counter-Strike and all this, like, all the competitive games. Mm -hmm. And they really enjoyed Rocket League. And the sport game guys, like um, people who played FIFA and people who played uh, like football and stuff like that, they really enjoyed Rocket League. Yeah. And I, I didn't, I didn't, I'm not good at driving games. I'm not good at sports games. I'm, what the fuck? But, uh. Who missed one? I didn't, I'm not good. I never missed one. Okay. I mean, I'm not getting the medal anyway, but that kind of sucks. Uh, no, what happened was Falco glitched, I think, and missed one. I don't know what happened. I, Mike, replay that. Whatever happened, happened. I don't know. Whoa. Use that sound effect for when you do the slow-mo replay of what happened. Okay. <laughs> um. That fucks up. That's, 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 that's gay. Oh, shit. You don't get to go the right path now, I That's a cool No, one. I still got to go the right path. Um, mm -hmm. the path that I want to go. I still got to go. But, uh, that's just, that just sucks. Because I I shouldn't have been jiffed out of that, just the happening of getting that. Right. But uh, yeah, that's that's kind of like that's kind of like how games are now. It's just you, we're waiting. I'm waiting yeah. for Kingdom Hearts to come out and be an actual good game. And 2016 you know. maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, there are actually some. They're doing a lot of remakes now. If you notice, of like everyone's getting into that retro feel, we want older. Yeah. But there's, uh, we've kind of like hit the height of technology, so like it's it's hard to find something new besides Oculus Rift. Yeah. But if Oculus Rift comes out, it's gonna be a whole bunch of like experimentation. So, I I, I don't know. I like the HD remakes. I think it's a good idea. I think it's a great idea actually. I, I'd like to play my games again. Yeah, I'm feeling nostalgic. Uh, what's some other stuff? Um, a lot of horror games. Yeah, a lot of horror games out recently, especially yeah. on Steam. Like, yeah, especially. I think PT kind of got everybody hungry for horror games again. Yeah, and then when they found out they weren't going to have it, they were like, shit, I guess we have to make our own. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, I don't know, there's, there's just a lot of them. There was one, it was really so shitty, it seemed like a horror game that was like a really, really, really old school Silent Hill, but mm -hmm. it fucking scared the piss out of me because it had like, 
It had like a dude strapped to a bed, floating upside di down in midair, throwing knives at me. <laughs> and he came from like the darkness and like down an empty street. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> what is that? What is what that? What is? Uh, stop queefing, Mr. Sneezy. <laughs> and I'm like, what is that? And like me and Adam were playing it together, and we just start shooting it like crazy and then after it died a guy with chainsaw arms came after us and I'm like what is going on <laughs> but it's um it's, that's actually a good topic actually uh, so if that's you a great topic for yeah the for the next, next one sure on friends the next one sure uh, we're gonna go the right path um, I'm gonna explain what happened in the next episode shit went wrong um, but not too wrong so we'll see how this goes uh -huh. all right Next time I'm sure, on friends. Are you we'll trying to get to the center? Or? I'm trying to get to the, the right. Oh, okay.